Hey guys, what's up? It's Anise. Welcome to this week's video. One, two, three, fuck it. Today I'm going to do a little getting ready with me because it's been a while since I've done one and I feel like doing one today. I'm going to go on a walk so I thought I would just get ready for that. That's pretty much it. I've got my mirror right here so if I look down that's why. Today's been pretty sunny which is good because the weather forecast was pretty bad so it's a nice surprise. So I thought I would go on a walk because I didn't go on a walk yesterday and I felt kind of bad about it because it was sunny and I should have but I didn't so I'm going on one today. Maybe I'll take some pictures, I don't know, we'll see. How you guys been? I've been feeling so much better. Last week was a lot of fun. I went to London with Iggy and we saw a bunch of our friends there. We only went for like three days and then when we came back one of our friends who's doing a placement came to visit in Lancaster so that was also really fun and I just spent the whole week around people and like socializing and stuff so like at the end of the week I was exhausted but you know in a good way so I just took Sunday to like chill out and just like watch YouTube in my bed the whole day and just like stayed in my room and it was so nice and it was exactly what I needed and then yesterday I got back to work because I have two assignments due in two weeks so I'm trying to work on those but really it's a bit hard because it's not really something I want to be doing I just want to enjoy my Easter break but I can't because I have to work on that but yeah I just have one essay and then a presentation and I was working on the essay today and I did some pretty good progress, I'm not gonna lie. At least I understand the topic I'm writing about, so that's a good start. But I'm starting to procrastinate, this is why I'm going on the walk because I just don't feel like working right now. But I think once I go on my walk and I come back, I'll do a little bit more work on it. Yeah, I hope you guys had a good Easter and that life is good. Life was a bit rough, not gonna lie for me, but I got out of the funk. Now I'm feeling a lot better. I think it's mostly because like I hung out with my friends, but also because it's been like sunny and the weather's been so nice. So that's helped a lot. Yesterday I watched a lot of TikToks <laughs> and my whole For You page is like full of hot girl summer stuff and I hate men videos <laughs> and just like stuff like that and that's really something I vibe with so you know it's always a good time on a tiktok for every page what else can I talk about I also started getting back into my routine this week because I had stopped doing basically everything I was doing before so I had stopped journaling I had stopped reading I stopped meditating, I stopped doing basically everything. So yesterday I meditated and then I journaled and then I did some reading. And although I didn't do them this morning, it just felt good to do them yesterday, you know? Not much has been going on in my life other than that, to be honest. Just a lot of walks and it's gonna be a lot of studying over the next two weeks because of my assignments. I'm also a bit struggling on finding new YouTube content to make because I literally do nothing. I mean, I went to London last week, but that was pretty much it. Like, I literally don't know what kind of videos to make, and it's so hard for me to find ideas, but I'm trying. I've been feeling pretty insecure lately. I think that was one of the reasons why I was feeling so shit for the last two weeks. I was just in a bad place, and for a lot of different reasons, it's been a bit hard to, like, get out of this mindset of being insecure and not liking anything I'm doing or not liking my appearance but you know it's a work in progress I'm gonna work on it and hopefully it'll get better soon what did I do to myself bro oh my god I've been saying the word bro so much lately and it's so annoying but I can't stop I literally cannot stop it's so bad can't wait for summer. The weather has been a bit nicer, especially last week. Now it's a bit colder again, but like last week the weather was so nice in London. It was like 24 degrees. 
and it felt like it was summer and it was so nice and I honestly cannot wait for summer. I'm just really tired of wearing a lot of clothes because I'm cold. I want to be able to go outside and only wear a top and not be cold, you know? That's all I want in life. And I also want longer days and sun. Also really excited to graduate because I'm so done with uni, especially assignments. Like I have these two assignments too, so those would be my last two essays. But then I have like free exams, which isn't that bad because like I know people who have a lot more. But then there are some people who don't have any exams or have like one. They're so lucky, but you know, having free isn't that bad, like it's pretty good. But I just need to get through these first two assignments and then do those free exams. And then I'll be done with uni forever. So excited for that. Honestly, I can't wait. Another part of me isn't excited because I have no idea what I'm going to do after. But, you know, I feel like I'm just going to take it day by day and see where life takes me. I have some ideas of what I'm going to do after uni, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. And that's okay. Sometimes I get stressed about that, so I just try not to think about it too much. But I do have some ideas and some plan of what I would like to be doing after uni. So it's not like I'm completely clueless. It's just I've been really busy and I just wanted to take a break before exams and my other two assignments were due. So now that I did that, it's back to work and back to thinking about my future, which is great. Sometimes I really want to take my Instagram more seriously and start like putting more effort into it. I already do put a lot of effort into it, but like put even more of an effort into it. But then I'm just like, what's the point? It's just social media. What's the point of social media anyways? Oh my god, I haven't told you guys, I designed like a drinking game and it came like two weeks ago and we've been playing that ever since and I'm so proud of it, like I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'll insert a video here because I'm too lazy to go get it. It's been super fun playing that. I think I'm done with my makeup so I'm gonna do my hair now. I want to do two pigtails and then like do the, the braids. So you'll see. I love these hairstyles but I hate doing it because I have to like part my hair in the middle and then like it has to be even in the back and that's so hard when you don't see what's happening in the back. And usually I'll ask Iggy to like check for me but he's not here so he can't do it. I hope this doesn't leave a mark on my skull. Oh, okay. I have no idea how the back looks. Sometimes what I do is just I take a picture of the back of my hair and then hope for the best. Okay, there's just this little spot right here. Bro, this is so hard. <laughs> okay, so now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do, I don't know why I'm giving a tutorial because like honestly this is just two pigtails with braids. So now that I've got two pigtails, I need to braid them. Dude, my hair is so curly right here. And then it's like super straight here. It makes no sense. This is such a bad- Oh, look at this. Bro, so bad. Should I do it again? You guys, I was just in the kitchen and it's snowing outside. What the hell? It's April. Why is it snowing? <laughs> Hopefully it stops snowing though because I want to go on my walk. I didn't get ready for nothing, okay? What is this? So bad. Let's focus on doing the braids. I want to go to Sainsbury's today to go buy some cream cheese and some bagels for breakfast tomorrow because I ran out. And also I want to buy some black dye because I have some clothes got stained yeah during the wash. So I want to dye the clothes black or something. I was thinking of cutting my hair you know because I hate having long hair because it's just such a hassle but like Look at this, it's so long, it's so nice. Maybe I should keep it long. I mean, I probably will, not gonna lie. I don't think I wanna get my hair cut here, you know? Cause usually I just get my hair cut when I'm home. And when I was home over Christmas, I was gonna cut my hair, but the hairdresser just focused on like doing the highlights of my hair instead of cutting my hair. Like I told her to cut my hair and she only cut like a tiny bit when I wanted her to cut more and then like, she did the highlights and I liked it, so I was like, oh, fuck it, like, let me keep my hair long. But now my hair is, like, super long. But actually, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. Okay, what do we think? Is this weird? Mm. Actually, I kind of like it. I don't like this little thing, you know? 
Thank you. Also, it's not high enough. You know what? It's fine. Fuck it. Who's gonna see me? No one. I'm wearing these blue pants from like Brandy Melville that I got on Depop. Not gonna lie, they're a bit too small. So I can close them. But if I do, it's just really, really fucking tight. So every time I wear them, I just wear like this hoodie or like a long hoodie. So it covers the top part of the pants and then I can just unbutton them and wear them like that. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, that's what I do because I don't want to not wear them because I have them, you know? I don't really like wearing these pants though because like it makes me feel kind of bad for not being able to fit in them. But that's the wrong mindset to have because you're not meant to fit in clothes. Clothes are meant to fit you. So really, I should just get clothes that fit me instead of getting clothes that are too small and hoping to fit in them and then feeling bad about not fitting in them. Yeah, that was my TED talk. Thanks for coming. Also, what is happening? Do you guys see this? No, 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 no. This is horrible. Start over, start over. I really want to live in New York City. I was just watching Emma Chamberlain's newest video and she was in New York City. And honestly, I just want to live there. I feel like I would thrive there. I am such a city girl. I love the city. Like, I love the energy of a big city. I love being in cities. I can just picture myself living there so well. So hopefully one day I get to live there and live my best life. My arms are getting really tired and I'm out of breath <laughs> from braiding my own hair. How bad is that? And this won't fucking stay inside. <sighs> Let me take a break. Okay, we'll fix the top part at the end. This is a really bad braid. Let's try again. We're gonna start over. I've been meaning to start working out this week, but I don't know, every time when I think about it, I'm like motivated to work out and stuff. And then when it actually comes down to it, I'm just like, uh, I'll do it tomorrow. And every time we keep pushing it back and then I never actually work out. So hopefully one day I'll be able to push myself enough. Cause yesterday I wanted to go on a run because it was sunny and it was nice. And then, I don't know, I just ended up watching TikTok in my bed for like two hours instead. I did go outside to like go to Aldi and it was so cold. So then I was like, oh, see, if I had gone on a run, I would have been freezing. So then my excuse for not running this week is because it's too cold and I want to wait until it's warmer before I start going on runs because I literally cannot run when it's cold because if I do, I'll get sick after or like I just won't feel good. So that's my excuse for not running this week. But, you know, I can still do exercise in my room, but I absolutely hate working out in my room. I don't know why, it just doesn't work for me. Okay, and I'm done. This looks like trash up here, but let's just not look at that and look at this side. So much better. Oh, I tried making the pasta from TikTok yesterday with the feta cheese, and I got vegan feta cheese. And it was so creamy, I think I just didn't put enough pasta. But I just couldn't eat it, like... I wanted to throw up if I kept eating it but then I had it as leftovers for lunch today and I threw out a bit of the cheese from yesterday so there was less cheese and it was actually pretty good not gonna lie I really liked the um, tomatoes so good I'm gonna wear these look at them aren't they so cute I got these a while ago from Kina and Sam and I freaking love them Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like the video please give it a like and subscribe to see more videos by me promise the next ones will be more interesting i can't promise that but hopefully they'll be more interesting anyways i hope you guys have a good day or a good night depends on what time you're watching this i'll see you in my next video ciao ciao if it's fine by you i'll take the passenger seat we can drive around to the sky and see me